Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, we're gonna to be working on a Coleman air conditioner. It's actually the second one I've worked on today. I wish that I got video of the other one, but just too many people in there and uh, just didn't happen. Um, hey, I do have a one quick question. Um, I am considering switching over to Milwaukee cordless tools, the 18 volt ones. Um, does anybody out there have any personal experience with the Milwaukee 18 volt cordless tools and I mean not not a guy that bought one and used the drill once I'm talking about people that use them every day uh, construction or or my RV tax anybody use the Milwaukee tools because uh, they got some stuff that I really like the looks of and uh, especially to replace some of my air tools my pneumatic tools my stapler and my brad gun get rid of the air compressor uh, that would be that would get rid of a lot of weight uh, so I'm considering that. I just don't know how good the Milwaukee tools are. So I'd really appreciate any input that you got. Uh, good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, Milwaukee, if you're out there watching, hit me up. Now I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear me okay because there's a generator running out there. Uh, this is a race car trailer. And uh, pretty nice one. Tire racks. Got nice, nice linoleum floor. This thing's, uh, this thing's pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, I just I hope that you can hear me because, like I say, the, the generator's running, the air conditioner's running. So I don't know. Uh, let me get this plastic cover down here so we can uh, get to the wiring and stuff, and uh, then we'll we'll see what's going on with this thing. Is this wiring so tight I'm, I am really scratching my head here trying to figure out why these wires are so short you're gonna find out why here in a few minutes all right we got the uh, good plastic off uh, I took a cover off there to expose the wires now I'm gonna take my amp clamp we'll put it on the purple wire that's the air conditioner <clears throat> the purple wire is the compressor wire. That's the one that's supposed to be powering the compressor. I just cannot, for the life of me, figure out why this wiring is so short. Typically, that wiring in that box is just not that short. And I, I can't figure it out. Purple wire is not per pulling any amperage. All right, well, I cut the generator off, cut the air conditioner off. I found the problem. The person that installed this, this is your, this is your thermistor. I guess it's your temperature sensor. It goes right straight to the, uh, to the thermostat. Uh, they, they cut the end off of it and they accidentally put that in their ground wire. So uh, that's, that's why it's not working. Uh, it, it can't read temperature. So they're gonna have to get a new thermostat for this. Um, yeah, I'm uh, really glad I went as far as I did um, because the only reason that I even went as far as I did is because I couldn't pull this cover down. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get this cover down because I was gonna start checking I was gonna start checking powers and stuff here. Uh, I'm still going to jump power 
over here to the compressor wire and make sure the compressor runs. Um, but yeah, here's, oh yeah, and I was going, because I couldn't get this pulled down, I couldn't figure out why everything was so short. And uh, then as soon as I pulled all this down, then I saw, I saw this under, under that wire nut for the ground wires. So yeah, that don't work. <laughs> Uh, Cause that's got some kind of gas inside of it, so you can't you can't crimp these and you can't cut them. Uh, you, they can't be damaged much at all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to get a thermostat. Uh, let me see here. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna like I said. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump the uh, the compressor. Just make sure it runs. I don't. I don't imagine it's hurt anything. I really. I mean, I couldn't believe it would hurt anything. Uh, let me see if I can get some power up here. Took that wire nut off. That's where we're gonna get our power from. So let's uh, let's don't touch the end of that. Let that hang there for a minute. Pull pull this purple wire up just a smidge, so we can touch this jumper wire to the purple wire. Uh, we should have power here. Oh, let me get a meter, see if I got power there. Hmm, maybe I have to start the generator back up? No, that don't make no sense. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think he wired it backwards too. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me get another wire nut off here. Let's see if I can check this. Let me go get another meter actually. Now I got a meter that I trust. That amp lamp's great for checking amperage, but I hate trying to check voltages and stuff with it. Make sure our neutral's good. Ground's good. And the neutral, and the neutral is good as well. And I believe, believe they had it wired backwards. So let me see here. Because for some reason, they used all black wires here. So they got one of them mixed up. Because they had to, uh, they had to extend, they had to extend this wire. Because that wire just barely comes out of this air conditioner hole up here. I mean, just barely. And uh, apparently all they had was black wire, black stranded wire. And uh, they kind of got them mixed up a little bit. They got the hot and the neutral mixed up. That's all. It's not the end of the world. It shouldn't hurt anything. Let me double check here. Yep, that's the black one. See me? Yep, so then this is going to be the neutral. Let's see if we can get that one back on there. And no, I'm not the one that wired this. This is a brand new air conditioner uh, that just put on here and it wasn't working. So they called me to come diagnose it. So that's what we're doing here today. All right, now that we've got a hot wire, let's see if the uh, compressor runs. Y'all listen. All you're gonna hear is a hum. No, we got no compressor. That's weird. Let me make sure we got power down here. Make sure there's not something funny going on right there. All right, we should have AC power. Well, if my ground wire would, my ground clamp would stay on there. We should have power right here. All right, we do. You see that? So, when we jump over from the black wire to the purple wire, the compressor should run. We got nothing. 
Let me make sure my jumper wire is good. You can never fully trust your testing equipment. You always need to test your testing equipment. It's just a, it's a really good idea. I'm going to test this here in a minute by touching it, I'm sure. Yeah, my, uh, my jumper wire is good, so that compressor won't run. That's crazy. I can't believe that hurt that compressor. Oh, let's see here. Let's, let's double, double check ourselves here. Let's see which one of these is a fan. Which color is a fan? Orange is a heat. Orange and blue would be a heater if we were so equipped, but we're not. So that means uh, red and black is fan. So let me, uh, let me make sure we can make the fan run here. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna get to end up getting in this electricity getting the chalk. Yep, a good fan. We just get no compressor. Nothing. Well, that's weird. Huh. I guess they did hurt that compressor. Well, that's crazy. Uh, let me go talk to this guy. He's uh, He went out to get something to eat. And uh, let me see if he's back yet. And uh, see if I can get any more info. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so I jumpered over this. I just jumpered over this compressor wire. And went up top to, uh, to just make sure the compressor was getting power. And it is. So, I don't think, I don't think what they did here hurt the compressor. I just think they got a bad one. And uh, <laughs> funny thing is, they wired up two of these and they did them both the same way. They bought another sealing kit because they figured, well, that's got to be what it is. And they wired it up the same way. They put the, they put the thermistor under the ground wire. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess... There's a chance that that could have hurt that compressor, but I don't know. Uh, I just, I couldn't imagine it doing that. But stranger things have happened. I just know that the compressor's getting power, but it ain't running, so. He's a Keystone NTP stag dealer, just like mine, just like I am. Uh, but he, he mostly buys truck parts. He just bought this air conditioner, so he's gonna see if he can get it covered under warranty. So that's going to be it for this one. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if you're going to get any value out of this video at all, but I hope so. Um, you know, it's just it's just a shame, really, because it's a brand spanking new unit. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, you ought to follow the instructions. <laughs> hey, that's going to be it for now. Uh, I'm going to go probably and fix another one, and uh, y'all have a fantastic day. All right, a little follow-up to the uh, air conditioner video. Uh, you want to hear what's really unfortunate? I got the rest of the story when I was getting paid. Um, this guy, somebody wired it. I don't know who it was. It's him and his son and grandsons, and I don't know who all's involved here. Uh, but anyhow, somebody wired up the air conditioner, turned it on. Man, it was great. And uh, he said it was just freezing them to death. He said, working great. Somebody else come along and said, hey, you forgot a ground wire. And he's like, well, hook it up. That guy's the one who put the thermistor under the ground, uh, under the wire nut for the ground. Um, and what's really unfortunate, it quit working. And he's like, well, crap. Well, it's gotta be the ceiling kit. So they ordered another ceiling kit, wired the thermistor up under that nut again, I don't know if that's what got that uh, compressor or what, but uh, that compressor is dead in the water, man. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know wiring that, <laughs> putting ground in that thermistor like that. I, I don't know, uh, or whether it was just a fluke. 
I mean, I have no idea, but I know uh, sometimes it's just time to call in a professional. Because <laughs> uh, I honestly, I've never seen that one before. I've never seen anybody wire the thermistor up under the, uh, under the wire nut for the ground wire. So, but anyhow, just thought I'd give you a follow up because you don't always get all the story to start with. Sometimes it takes a little while to get all the story. Well, I think I got it all now. So that is gonna be it for this video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Um, do you ladies out there, keep watching, keep commenting, keep fixing stuff. I love it. I love, love it when ladies fix stuff. Uh, you're, you've always been a big part of my channel. Still a big part of my channel. So uh, let's keep it up, ladies. And uh, I'm gonna go up road and fix another one. Y'all have a fantastic day.